What's good, YouTube? So I'm about to go to class right now, and and I see myself in the mirror holding this camera, and I thought it looks kind of funny. I don't know why. It just looks like weird. <laughs> I think today might be the last day of life for these shoes. Look how huge this hole has gotten. All right, so my class is right over there. I'm not at the level of confidence to go walk around campus with this whole camera setup yet. Uh, for next Monday's upload, I'm having a Q&A, so comment below any questions you have. I also did this on Instagram. Yeah, if you have any questions, drop them below. I'm at the park. The goal for today is to learn either front side or back side nose grind. Still can't do them. I don't know why. Along with that, I want to see about tail slides too. Just front side. Just front side. session was pretty nice. I got a tail slide. It was kind of sus, but I did one. Those are my first two nose grinds and then like the nollie big spin. So I learned a couple things there. Tomorrow. This is the only ledge at my college that's not skate stop. Literally every other ledge here has skate stoppers on it. Yeah, if you ever wonder why I don't go street skating that often here, it's because there's one ledge spot, which is like kind of fun, but it's off campus and it's, it's a little bit far away. <laughs> So yeah, literally everything at my college is pretty much, like you can't skate it. The entire campus is pretty much skate stop. So basically skate stoppers are these metal brackets that sit on the side of ledges. They come in a lot of different forms. Ugly as hell. They're probably uglier than if the ledge was like super beat up. I guess for some people they're kind of controversial. Like if you know who Jordan Peterson is, he actually talked about them a little bit. I thought those kids were amazing. I thought they deserved a pat on the back and some honest admiration. Little steel brackets known as skate stoppers soon appeared every two or three feet along those edges. The skate stoppers are unattractive. The surround of the nearby sculpture would have to have been badly damaged by diligent board sliders before it would look as mean as it does now, studded with metal like a pit bull's collar. So I guess it's just like colleges hate skateboarding, don't they? Or at least just mine does, because there isn't a single skate spot on campus, because they even have, there's a way to skate stop stairs. You ever see like these huge like balls that like come out like ball type things like rumble strip things so it's like yeah these things ugly as hell and they stop me from having fun when i ask people who don't skate if they know what those things are most of them have no idea like skate stoppers is really only a term that skaters know people who don't skate don't even know what these metal brackets are for do you know what skate stoppers are what is skate stoppers bar 
<laughs> no, do you know what skate stoppers are? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Did I tell you or did you know already? What goes under the skateboard? No, I'm talking about like the brackets on the sides of ledges. Oh, on the railings and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen those before. That's like in the city usually. I feel like the videos have been getting a little bit repetitive lately, but I'm gonna try to bring a little bit of change in them. The next Monday's upload might be uploaded on Tuesday instead, just cause I have an essay due Monday night and I might be doing that instead. Depending on time, if it's not up on Monday, it'll be up on Tuesday. The upload schedule is supposed to be Monday and Friday, so keep up with it and subscribe and everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Hope you guys like it. Peace out, mates.